Once, long, long ago, an old man with a long beard and snowy white hair was cutting tree trunks into planks. Many people stood round him watching to see what he was making. The man's name was Noah. Noah was a good man who loved God. Noah's wife and his three sons watched him work. At last, they saw what he was making. It was a very large, strong ship. How can it float? said Noah's wife. There is no water nearby. Noah said, This is a new kind of ship called an ark. It will have a door in the side and a roof. It will have a window and three decks. What is it for, husband? Why are you making the ark? said Noah's wife. God has told me to make the ark, said Noah. He will send rain which will cover the land. Every living thing will die because his people have been wicked. We must go inside the ark with our sons and their children. We must take with us two of every kind of animal. The ark will float on the water and all inside it will be safe. We will need food for everyone and food for the animals, said Noah's wife. So Noah and his wife and the three sons began to make plans for their stay in the ark. Sacks of grain and bags of salt were put on the deck of the ark. Barrels of fresh water for drinking were filled. Hay and straw for the animals were laid inside the ark. They found the animals and took them onto the ark. There was every kind of animal there, elephants, lions, and camels. There were dogs, cats, birds, snakes, and even mice and worms. Noah told everyone to hurry, for he could see the rain coming. He pushed two donkeys from behind. Come along, you slow donkeys! Get on board if you do not want to get your feet wet. When everyone and everything was inside, Noah closed the door. Soon, great black clouds filled the sky and rain began to fall. Day after day it rained until all the land was covered with water. The rain fell. 
for 40 days and 40 nights. The ark was lifted. It floated high in the water. The water covered the land for many, many days. Inside the ark, everyone was becoming tired, for it was noisy and there was little food left. A dog growled as if to say, my straw is not soft, I cannot sleep. On the other side of the ark, the giraffes were very unhappy. The roof was so low that they had to bend their heads. They had very stiff necks. At last, the rain stopped and the waters went down. The ark came to rest upon a mountain. Noah looked out to see how he could tell when it would be safe to leave the ark. He went to where the birds rested and spoke to the big black raven. Go out, raven, and fly over the lands. If you can find a tree in which to rest, stay there. If you cannot find a tree, then fly back to the ark. The raven was away all day. It did not come back. I will wait a little longer, said Noah. A week later, Noah sent out a dove. The little dove came back to the ark for she knew there was food there. I will wait a little longer, said Noah. I think things will be better soon. He waited seven days and let the dove out again. When night came, Noah saw the dove coming back. It held in its beak a green olive leaf. The leaves have grown again on the trees, cried Noah. Now we can leave the ark. The door was opened. Noah and his family came out of the ark. The animals and birds were glad to be free again on dry land. God had spared Noah and all his family from the flood. They gave thanks to God. Look, look up there in the sky, cried Noah's wife. Right across the sky was a lovely rainbow. This was God's promise that he would never again flood the world. Sometimes when it has been raining, if you look up into the sky, you too can see a rainbow. <laughs>